Oh boy, that was uh, kind of a giant waste of time last time. I'm almost feeling bad about calling that an episode in the series, because it really was not. So today, let's get straight into it, and let's test a couple of things. That's why it's black screen, we're not doing anything quite yet. I am going to try the thing I was talking about where I'm, I'm gonna load my backup in Solstice mode, the credits, right when we talk to the world machine. I'm gonna do the credit sequence and just try talking to the lamplighter first of all, or just skipping everyone and just seeing what you can do. Just for fun. And here we are. Let's just spam through this. This part is not important. And now we have to get this whole talk. And I guess we have to talk to Silver. I should have gone to the side. That could have been a little bit more fun if I walked like way at the edge. She probably would have just come up to me anyway, so it wouldn't really have mattered, but oh well. And then leave her alone. And let's just go past everyone. Screw you, boat guy. Screw you, mace. Screw you, guardian gate bot. And there they are. Screw all of them. And here's Lamplighter. Let's talk to him. He's special. It's you! That was the most awkward thing. Trapped like a rat. Am I dead? Shlag, is he? He's fine, Nico. Everyone here is fine. The World Machine will send them home soon. Oh! He says you're not dead. Oh, thank goodness gracious. Yeah, okay. So, as I said, that's pretty much it. It's just like... It doesn't matter which one you do in which order. I guess we'll go talk to Lula and Calamus anyway, just so. It's gonna be the same thing, but you know, just in case. Let's talk to Calamus instead of Alula. And yeah, same thing anyway. And she says they're in limbo. No, no, you're fine. Everyone in this room is fine. You'll be able to go back home soon. Yeah. Nothing much more than that. And now, can we just leave and ignore Rue and all of them? Screw you guys! This path leads to the summit of the tower. You already know what to expect, right? Oh. Oh, I see. So you can't pass it by, but you could just not talk to them anymore. Yeah. Alright. Makes sense. But we'll complete it anyway, because I need a solstice save to do what I want to do next, which is going to be very weird. I already have a soul to save, I could just load that, but... Actually, you know what, I probably should, because this ending sequence is pretty long, isn't it? The whole credits and everything. Yeah, sorry, this is, uh... This is not... I'm gonna ruin the uh, atmosphere here, but... Screw you, one shot, sorry! Alright, so there, now I've loaded the Solstice done back up. So if we launch the game now, I will just have the normal dot 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 thing. And I'm not going to launch it, because I know that's what happened. These are the correct backups. Instead, because Solstice Mode deletes your save file when you're done, I want to try and just splice in a save file. If we just take the one I just used, where I was just in the, uh, the world machine, just take that save file, pop it in there, what happens now? Aha! The game knows that we're not supposed to be Nico anymore, because Nico is gone. Which just changes your your sprite, and now we're the world machine. Even though that doesn't make any sense here. Yeah. And if I, like, go and talk to the world machine here it's still gonna just say the same thing, because you're not meant to even... Yeah, I think it's working. You're not even meant to be able to 
play the game like this. Huh. Okay, well, that's simple enough. And if I were to load, say, just a random one, like a very old save file, where I had just, I was in the Barrens and I had just gotten past the gas vents. We are still, well, we are still looking at a black screen. We are still the world machine, just like before. So yeah, there really isn't any major difference to being the world machine or being Nico because it's just the same, exactly the same, just like with a filter on it. I also realized the uh, filter on the portrait is just made to look like a monitor because I guess you only talk to the world machine at that giant screen and that effect is there and they didn't like want to do the whole green screen cutout thing for uh, the world machine or maybe it's symbolic of the world machine still talking through the monitor and through the heart of the world machine or something like that. I don't even know. But yeah, that's kind of it. That's all I wanted to test for this time in Solstice mode in the finale. So now we can just get back into it a little bit and play the game normally. And I have to do a lot of replaying here, but that's fine. I'll do that. I did have some ideas about using the Clover program and all of that stuff for like keeping the P settings file but loading the other files of having just beaten the game and wanting to start new game plus I don't know you could do some weird stuff but I'm pretty sure P settings is pretty much the end all be all file that just controls everything so it wouldn't be new game plus it would still be this exact thing so yeah let me redo everything that I did last time it won't take long I'll be back all right, here we go. We're back here. I have the charged battery, but I haven't plugged it in yet because I was actually told just recently, I was like in between recording the episodes when I noticed that I was told to actually go and talk to the unpowered robot, the rowboat robot, for some reason. It was not very clear. I'm not sure why I was going to like not even touch the robot because I didn't want to, uh, I wanted to not touch it at all until we have the whole acid solution. But I guess that's fine talking to him when he's unpowered. As long as I don't talk to him when, when he's powered, I can still test the thing that I wanted to test. So, sure, let's go to the docks and see what happens. Like, I don't even remember this being a significant thing, like checking this guy out when he's unpowered. But is it? Um, hello? Shalag, are you there? No. Oh, I see. Aw, oh, bummer. Wait, you just answered me! You sure have a sense of humor, Shalag. There's a robot here, attached to a boat. It doesn't seem to have power, and its joints are rusted over as well. But I think we should be able to fix it. After all, we'll need to cross this ocean to get to the tower. So that's kind of the problem. I kind of didn't want to know that I wanted to fix it because that's part of what I wanted to test, like just fixing it without knowing why or that I even have to do it. So, hello? Let me see. So it saved, yeah, like six minutes ago again, which is probably, I'm just gonna try it. It's probably way back again and I just have to replay the game again yep exactly that's fine I'll do it again it really isn't much like all I'm doing here is take metal rod to crusher get broken battery go to silver get screwdriver get camera combine them like it's not that much it's just that there's a lot of reading so I'll be one second and here we are again finally so battery into generator and we'll just do the whole safe puzzle as well. And the safe document should be all corrupted and stuff, just like it was the first time. You've made progress. Well, do you understand what this means? Yes, I do! Good, start looking. Alright, I don't need your help, guy. I can do this all on my own. Document.oneshot.txt. Yeah, it's like all corrupted. 
And same as before, message to you, I'm afraid I must make it brief, I've left you a journal, part of which is written in a language that you don't understand or something like that, or you'll need help to decipher. Read it and you will know what to do. I've also left you a gas mask, it even says, a mask something, but it's all corrupted and whatever. But now, the code is 800-100. Simple enough code. I like that code. And now we go to Cliffs. And hold on, let me make sure I have my list available so I can try. Yeah, like doing the uh, safe code before interacting with it. I've tried that. It doesn't work, so that won't happen. We have... Yeah, the robots up top, above the gas, and then a bunch of stuff with a jelly and syringes and acid and all that. And then not playing chess with silver. I'm gonna try that. And... I don't know why I've written check generator in barons after chess. I don't know why that would be a thing. I think maybe she mentioned something about the generator, like running out of power or something. So maybe that would have been a thing, but I, I don't think that's anything. No, god damn it. Ugh. Please. Okay, eight eight hundred one hundred. Easy code. Uh I think I've done both of these. I had some help. From who? Don't worry about it. Yeah, I can't do anything else. Can't read it. And, well, there's the first corruption, and I have the gas mask now, and we can't do anything with the, uh, computer anymore. That's shut down. I also want to test, once we get to the Glen and the, uh, city, I want to try and, like, talking to the, uh, the entity right away, just going to the computer first thing. Because, like, I always postponed it as much as I could, because I wanted to figure it out on my own and stuff. But, that could be interesting to see. I should be fine with a gas mask on. So now, what is it we actually do here? We need, like, the gloves and stuff from here. I'm just gonna take everything. I don't need to, like... Oh, yeah, I don't need that. I don't need to, uh, skip out on the, uh instructions or acid parts or anything like that, because I've already done it. I've tested that, so that's nothing. And now we get the sponge. And now we head up to medical. Right? Somewhere there? Not medical, I guess. No, yeah. Do you get the syringe from medical, or is it somewhere else? I can't remember. Alright, so I wanted to... Uh, what was it? I wanted to talk to this guy, and he's like, oh, they will follow you around. And then I'm gonna go to the left and get the left guy. Living person shouldn't be here. Messiah. Have you spoken to Prophet Bot? Um... That's it. Hold on, talk one more time. Yeah, start following around. It's their job to keep you safe or whatever it said. So now I'm just gonna walk and not get caught by this guy. Avoid him. And talk to the guy over here first, wherever he is. Oh, it's not that guy. I know there's a guy over here that wants to follow me. Oh, maybe he doesn't even... He doesn't appear until you already get followed by the first guy. That would make sense. So maybe if I just get caught by this guy... Where'd he go? He's just gone. Stay safe. He's gone. He gave up. I was too fast. I ran away. That's odd. Okay, I guess I guess we can't do anything with that. But yeah, I guess I'm pretty sure you don't... Why do I keep having the crowbar equipped? You don't have 
two of them. Like, there's only one that can intercept you, and then you do that cutscene, and then you go left, and there's a second one that just spawned in, basically. So, that makes sense. And yeah, injuries none and all of that, so... Nothing is different because we're the world machine now. That would have been an interesting touch too. I'm a bit sad that nothing like that is actually happening. And then we just need the, uh... Was there anything in here? Just like... A document. What was this even about? Uh... Just about the, uh, generator. Okay. Not much. Oh, there's a guy. Okay. So let me be followed by this guy for... Oh, no, come on. For a while. Come on. You can do it. And I'm just gonna see if there's a second guy. Maybe if I get caught by this guy, a second guy is just gonna spawn. So I'm gonna do it. Reporting for duty. I will escort you. Yes. And there's the second guy. Yeah, he definitely just spawned. Would you like me to leave? Yeah, exactly. Okay, makes sense how that's coded. Now I know. Now let's find the uh, robot talk room. I think it was over here. Right? No? No, this one had a, a battery, so that's not it. It's one of the ones that had a robot. So maybe up here? This one? That's not it. Was it down here? Must have been this one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're neat. Yeah! Oh! And that's it. You can only do it if you say, do a robot voice. And like, everyone clicks do a robot voice, which means you'll never see that you can do it multiple times. So yeah. Hey Nico, do a robot voice. Whoops. That is not correct. And it doesn't matter if you talk to him first or anything, she'll still do it, so... Cool! That's another thing to tick off my checklist, so... Followed by left guy before right guy, doesn't work. Acid stuff. Check generator after chess, I don't need to do that, I, I'm not going to do that, because that won't be anything. And yeah, after that it's just the uh, stuff I wanted to try, like using the acid on the robot, and not the sponge. I might want to save before that happens too, but then we're kind of done. So I think, oh no, I, I was going to say, I, I think I'm going to go sleep in the bed, but I'm not because I don't want to sleep in the bed because I want to find out what happens. If you just leave the barons without sleeping, like what kind of cutscene or little dialogue piece will you get from that? So I guess I'll leave it here. And when did it last save? I hope it's fairly recently. It is not very recently, but it's at least more recent than what I did last time, so... I'm pretty sure it's like when I got the gas mask, I would imagine. So I just have to go and pick up the stuff again, and I'm pretty much there. So that's fine, I'll do that next time. I'm just gonna once again just force quit the game and abuse these auto saves for my sinister purposes and cheating one shot. The achievement. I'm not even sure if you can. Maybe they actually thought of that, but I imagine it's just you have to never actually quit the game and record the progress like it does, but who knows? We'll see, I guess. I'm not too worried about not getting it, because if I don't, I'll just do it on my own at some point. But thanks for watching, Glenn, next time, and seeing how the beds work next time, and seeing how the acid works next time. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.